Hello folks, so this has gone spy, the spy we're going to be coming to you live from Star Wars Knights for Republic the Sith Lords. Now, after from the last video, after meeting with this smuggler character named Anne Rand, dude, that's probably, he seems to be a decent guy well enough, but this seems to have got the, the rumors about what happened during the Jedi Civil War, a little bit confusing, but... I was able to straighten that out of the details. And then afterwards, he and I decided to be able to work together, to be able to put our skills together by, by having him to check to see if there's... And apparently, um, the Turbo Lives are still low locked down and without them being open, we can't exactly go to the hangar bay to be able to escape with the Evan Hawk. So we somehow managed to make contact with T3M4. That's still operational. And as you can see clearly, his equipment has changed differently than the last time we saw him. And he doesn't have his flamethrower anymore. But because of the um, new joy parts that I was able to find, I was able to do this. Alright. This works on only on organics to stun them or against creatures. So right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two down. Alright. Let's move. T3 M4 has dealt with joints that's a lot tougher than this as well. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. Or oh, neither are in strike room. They have shield generators. I do think I'll be counting chores that can equip with shield generators. All right, good thing I got the ion striker on. I should be able to disable it. Droid upgrade action. We're 
able to recover that mine, so let's see here. Thought so. Let's see if this will work. Fire in a hole. CFD. What the hell happened to this little guy? He was so nice. I bet that Prodigal Joy must have heard that from the first, from the second video, must have somehow destroyed this poor fellow. Three score of a double or a blaster, anyway. Alrighty. I'm just showed you right now. Definitely something that I'll definitely be using. There's the hangar bay and the Evan Hawk. And look at it <laughs> in his pride and joy. Looks like the miners must have made the repairs. Why would someone or something reprogram it? Repro reprogram the mining joys to kill the miners? It makes no sense. We still haven't got enough information on, on the reason, on who reprogrammed the droids, but we do have a lead that of one person that could give us some answers. The maintenance droid officer. Mm -hmm. Well, we got the repair part, so. Alright. Let's check the hangar logs. Let's check the fog 253-12, Gachadra Band. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes that security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well to prevent further system compromises. The secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Good to know. We will be uh, keep an eye out for that possibility later. Now let's check out a log 253 14. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? I come in huh? here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs. Especially with half the work shifts in Mende. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship could go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it space worthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. So even if we somehow get the orbital drip tards, we need something called a voice activation code. We need to keep an eye on that, but there's something else that he said. If they didn't, exactly, if the miners didn't send the mining droids to repair it at the Evan Hog, someone or something must have reprogrammed those droids to repair the Evan Hog. 
that's the case, then that same person could have been responsible for the reprogrammed of the target of reprogramming those droids to surge out any organics, meaning the miners to be killed on site. Alright. Seems to be the last mark on this one called 253 17. Navigate, navigate, computer lock. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. The maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Navi computer. It's been voice locked. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere, unless we rip out the Navi computer and put in a new one. If we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Navi computer is to hide their astrogation charge. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers do that. Or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. Hmm. So if I have somehow well, woken up three days ago, the miners would have questioned me on this subject. And I highly doubt that the old woman they mentioned, Kreia, could have possibly be able to have one of the things that they were speaking about. Minister Droid Officer seems to not have ordered the droids to repair the Heaven Hawk. Let's see. Access uh, docking and tag all procedures. Hmm. Hmm. Been denied. Let's see if we can download the uh, asteroid orbital gear charts. Let's check it out, emergency status, subsystems. We're not exactly ready to, I'm pretty sure that we're not exactly ready to go to the hangar 25. D3 needs to uh, get those uh, terminal lifts open. So right now, I guess, open the blast door to the field depot. God, the end of the forest, the no problems being going on. The series of scrap pile and melt. Fire beats metal. Fire burns metal. Hmm. Damn. D3 has not reached the class two yet. Um. Force fields, containments. Hmm. I want to see if I can be able to do something about that. Hmm. 
maybe if I go to the terminal, uh, T3 will be able to do something about it. Even could be able to open on the turbo lips. Let's call this system log. Within the past day, a series of explosions within the Prague's mining facility has an attack and emergency lockdown, which caused the ventilation systems to malfunction. Someone has sliced into the field to pull computers and created a phantom fuel leak, sealing off the area with force fields to contain the blast, which explains those containment force fields were seen before. Looks as if someone has been using the lockdown to systematically isolate sections of the facility. I mean, could be the miners. Let's go up the emergency system schematics. Mm. Alright, this may be an emergency hatch to get those turbulives open. From there, Arthur and Anne and Craig can go from there. Alright. That's done with. Let's access the computer cameras. Fuel line sensors. Nothing in there, but something in there. A metal case. Maintenance level. Which we've been there. Entrance to the Jordan maintenance area. Interesting. And my other side must be it. Jordan maintenance officer could be in there. Hopefully he's still alive so we can get him some answers. Alright. Now. Let's see if T3 can be able to manage this to meet up. What the? T3? What the hell? T3! What the shit? Someone, something just, you said Ion Stalker? So is that stupid droid of yours gonna come through or not? It's not my droid. I don't know who he belongs to. Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little better off than my. Do you have anything to add instead of complaining? Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. Looks weird, though. Looks like it, but it's strange that he didn't contact oh. us on the comm. Hmm. It's strange. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Listen, N, we, you and I, don't have a clear run to shit. All that's open is emergency hatch, which is where I'm going to be going. Well, look, don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? Yes. That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Then call me an idiot. Because it's the only way out there. And it's better than my life, than yours. And besides, someone has got to save our skins. You're either really brave or really crazy. Or both. Alright, I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids. So don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Got it. Concern noted. See you soon. I'll keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. I don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though. Hmm. Comm link? Party members or others may have used it to contact you to help provide some information. Check the comm systems. Hmm. God, I hope T3 is alright. <laughs> yeah. T3 is in that um, in this predicament situation, wherever it is he got himself into because of me. Which is why I had to be the one that owns up to it. I had to go down there to see if I can find him. 
or at least could to see if we do have a clear run in for the hangar bay. Thankfully, uh, T3 was managed to be able to get me some energy shields. And besides, I may be able to search for some survivors in, in an emergency hatch of the tunnels. Hopefully I'll be able to find anybody alive other than Kraya and here. And perhaps then join maintenance officer. Let's go. It may be a trap, but we had to go through regardless. Alright folks, I'm going in to post up to here to after these messages, so this has gone spy, the spy sign off for now.